Hello, how do you solve this radical problem? This is square root of n plus n equals 3. So we are going to start by moving this n across this equality sign. n becomes negative n, so I have square root of n equals 3 minus n. So right here, I can decide to take the squares of both part of this equation to eliminate the square root here. I raise this to the power of 2. I raise this to the power of 2. So this square root here eliminates the square here. I have n. And this equals for this. I need to have it as 3 minus n times 3 minus n. So from here, I'm going to have n equals 3 times 3. I have 9. 3 times minus n, of minus 3n, minus n times 3, of minus 3n, plus minus n times minus n, that is n squared. So from here, you have n equals 9, minus 3n, minus 3n, this is minus 6n, plus n power 2. So from here, I can Easily move this n over here. This is 0 equals 9 minus 6n plus n squared. This is minus n. So from here we have 0 equals this is 9 minus 6n minus n. This is minus 7n plus n squared. So from here I can have n squared minus 7n plus 9 equals 0. So we have this quadratic equation that we are going to solve using the formula method. We are solving for the values of n. So in order to solve this quadratic equation, what we are going to do will be to make use of the formula. We have n equals negative b plus or minus square root of d squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2 times a. And right now, 1 is the equation of n squared, that is our a. Negative 7 is the equation of n, that is our b. And 9 is the equation of, is the constant here. So we are going to insert them right here. We have n equals negative b, that is negative times negative 7 plus or minus square root of this is negative 7 over 2 minus 4 times 1 times 9 divided by 2 times 1. So from here, I have n equal this is 7 plus or minus square root of this is 49 minus 4 times 1 for 4 times 9, we have 36. And this is divided by 2. So from here, I have n equals 7 plus or minus. This is 49 minus 36. 9 minus 6 is 3. 4 minus 1 is 1, that is 13. So you have square root of 13, and this is the variable by 2. So from here, we have two values for n. You have n equals 7 plus root 13, the variable by 2. Or we also have n equals 7 minus root 13 divided by 2. So these are the two values for n that we have gotten. Now the next thing is for us to check using the two values for, of n. So we have check. Our n1 is we have 7 plus root 13 divided by 2. We also have n2, 
because seven minus or 13 divided by two, I hope that's correct. Let me quickly check. All right. So, and the question remains, square root of n plus n equals three. So let's start with seven plus root 13. This is square root of n, so you are going to have square root of 7 plus root 13 divided by 2, right? Then plus 7 plus root 13 divided by 2, will this give us 3? Question mark. So, square root of 13, this is about 3.6. Now, if you add this to 10, to 7, you are going to have about 10.6 divided by 2. Then all is square root. Then for this, this also is about 3.6. So, if you add it to 7, that is 10.6 divided by 2 equals 3. If you divide it by 2, you are going to have about 5.3. So this is square root of 5.3 plus this is 5.3. Is this equals 3? Question mark, question mark. Now this will give you about 2.2 .2 plus 5.3. This is far greater than 3. So this shows that this particular solution here is not correct. The solution of 7 plus root 13 divided by 2 is not a valid solution. So let's consider this. 7 minus root 13 divided by 2. So we are going to have, remember, square root of n plus n equals 3. And our n is, this is square root of 7 minus root 13 divided by 2 plus 7 minus root 13 divided by 2 equals 3. I'm just inserting it here. Remember our n now is 7 minus root 13 divided by 2, right? So I've just inserted it here. So from here, I can, this is 3.6. So this will give you square root of 7 minus 3.6 this will give you about that is 2.4 2.4 divided by 2 plus this is also about 2.4 divided by 2 is this equals 3 so I think this is 3.4, not 2.4, because if this is 3.6, so minus 3.6 is 3.4, 3.4. So if you divide this by 2, you will have about, this is 1.7 approximately, plus there is square root here. And this is also 1.7. So is this equals 3? Now, square root of 1.7 is about... 1.3 plus 1.7. So this equals 3. Obviously, 1.3 plus 1.7 will give you 3. And this equals 3. So the only valid solution here is when n equals 7 minus root 13 divided by 2. So this particular solution here is correct. This one here is correct. While this is wrong. So guys, this is how you can at least solve this radical problem. You just move this end across here and take these squares. Then thereby eliminating the square root here. After that, you multiply out, expand the bracket, then form a quadratic equation. From here, you solve the quadratic equation using a formula method. Remember, the values of a, b, and c are right here in the equation. Coefficient of n squared is a, coefficient of n is b, c is the constant, insert them here and simplify further. From there, you are going to have two, quad, two solutions because the quadratic equation and its solutions are this. 
So you can actually test for the real solution, the one that will satisfy the equation by inserting these values back into the equation. And after doing that, we have just discovered that the solution that satisfies the equation is 7 minus root 13 divided by 2. So when you have 7 plus root 13 divided by 2, it is far greater than 3. So that did not satisfy the equation. It's actually this one here, 7 minus root 13 divided by 2, that satisfies the equation. So guys, that is it. Thank you and goodbye.